Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn? In this session we are going to read the text from image with the help of PyTezerac and OpenCV on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64 bit version. But before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends, thank you so much and let's get started. So friends, for today's tutorial, first you need to install OpenCV and TensorFlow Lite on Raspbian OS Bootser. I have already created the video, I will mention the video link, watch video and install OpenCV and TensorFlow Lite on Raspbian OS Bootser 64 bit to purchase. Then for today's session, we need here a PyTezerac. So open the terminal, run the command sudo pip3, sudo pip3 install py pytezerac. Okay, sudo pip3 install pytezerac and it will install pytezerac on Raspbian OS Bullseye. Okay, so I have already installed, requirement is already satisfied. So now open Tony editor, create new file, give the name for file, I have mentioned the name read text.py and inside that import cv2, import pytezerac, this is what our modules, img is equal to cv2.imread and our image path, okay, numplate.jpg and the image is basically inside slash home slash py and downloads folder, inside that we have numplate.jpg image. Then we are going to resize our image. So img variable 640 width and 480 height. img is equal to cv2.resize. Then we are going to show the image cv2.inshow then img and img variable. Then wet key basically hold our image. So cv2.wet key 0. So if I start the code and as you can see this is what our image. We have here number plate and we are going to read the number plate with the help of pytezer. Okay. So let's start our code. So after cv2 resize, we are going to call our model. So d is equal to pytezerac pytezerac dot image to data image to data, and inside that we need to pass our img img. That's it. If we print d, okay. If I save the code and if I run the code. And as you can see, we have here uh, information, okay, we have here information in table way, we can say this is what our table, okay. And last as you can see, we have here our text from our image, okay. So as you can see the TN, TN 63 DB 5481, okay. We have the information, but we need to split these lines the split lines function okay so let me make like this way and now we are going to remove the print and we are going to use for loop with enumerate and we are going to split these lines okay so for i for i and d in enumerate and we are going to use this d variable because d is basically our information with the help of pytezerac dot image to data okay we can say the data so d we are going to split the lines data okay so d dot split lines and like this way okay so for i d in enumerate d dot split lines then we can say if i is not zero so if if i is not 0 then we can say d not d we can now we are going to mention another variable because d is already we mentioned here so we can say r is equal to d dot split okay now if we print r as you can see we have now data but this data is in list format okay as you can see the list format so now we can count the index so start from here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 okay so 11 is basically our text 
okay 11 is is basically our text so the length of our list is we can say 12 if length of list is 12 then we can call our method okay so here what we want to do we want to mention if condition with the r length because this r is now our data in list format okay so we can say like this way if r sorry not r if length r if length of r is equal to 12 then we can say we we want we want here x y w h coordinate because we want to draw the rectangle on our text so in this list 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 the 6 7 8 and 9 index values are basically x y w and h so we are going to use this 6 7 8 9 index value for getting the x y w h coordinates okay so simply we are going to mention like this way x is equal to int r index value 6 y is equal to int r index value 7 w is equal to int r index value 8 and h is equal to int r index value 9 okay so now we have our x y w h coordinates so with the help of x y w h we can simply draw the rectangle on our text okay so cv2 dot rectangle cv2 dot rectangle cv2 dot rectangle and we are going to draw the rectangle on our image okay then x y then x plus w y plus h then 0 0 2 5 5 is our color and the thickness of our rectangle let us make it 2. So, cv2 dot rectangle image where we want to draw the rectangle we want to draw the rectangle on our image x, y, x plus w y plus h and the color red and the thickness is 2. So, if I save the code if I run the code and as you can see we successfully draw the rectangle on the text on tn on 63 on db and on 5481 now we have the rectangle now we need to simply print the text okay so how to do this as i told you if we print if we print the r and the index number 11 the 11 index is basically our text okay so if we print r and the index value 11 if i save the code if i run the code as you can see here it's printed the text tn 63 db 5481 so we are going to use the r11 as our text so simply what we are going to do we are going to remove the print and we are going to use cv2 oh, let's make like this here cv2 dot put text okay so to dot put text where we want to put the text we want to put the text on our image then we have our text which is the r and 11 index value then we need to mention x y and then font so cv2 dot font harsh plane font harsh plane and the scale let's make it 2 and then color let's make red and the thickness let's make 2 okay so if i save the code if i run the code and as you can see we have the text on our rectangle so tn tn 63 63 db db 5481 5481 it means we have successfully read the text from image also we put the text on the rectangle with the help of pytest right now i have here another image okay 
so if I comment the first image and I have here a text image inside that we have some text ok the text lines if I start the code the same same method ok as you can see it print the text but we want to make some changes let us change the thickness of the rectangle and let us change the scale of the text and here it is also the thickness change ok. So, if I save the code if I run the code and as you can see raspberry here we see raspberry pi on on rectangle we see pi foundation on rectangle as you can see we have foundation ok the the raspberry pi raspberry pi foundation is is a register register educational educational charity charity. So, we have successfully read the text from our image with the help of OpenCV PyTezerX on Raspberry OS Bullseye 64 bit version. I hope you will learn something from this video. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you, take care, and bye bye.